Every once in a while, the celestial spheres align and the moon passes between the Earth and the Sun, causing a solar eclipse. A solar eclipse is a sight to see, and you don't want to miss it. However, it's extremely dangerous to look at the Sun, even when most of its light is obscured by the moon. The lens in your eye can focus that sliver of light onto your retina and scorch it. Because retinas have no pain receptors, you can damage your vision without even feeling it happen. So don't look at the sun during a solar eclipse. The best way to view an eclipse is through a pinhole camera. To build one, all you need are a few household supplies. A box, something like this shoe box, a small piece of tin foil, a white sheet of paper, tape, a pin or needle, and a box cutter or X-Acto knife. Here's what to do. Cut a small hole about one inch across near an edge of one end of the shoe box. Tape a piece of tin foil over the hole. Using a pin or needle, punch a hole in the center of the foil. Tape a small piece of white paper to the inside of the box at the opposite end from the foil covered hole. The paper should be positioned so that light entering the box through the pinhole will hit it. This is where you'll look at the sun. Cut a one inch diameter hole in the box near the image screen, which is the white piece of paper but on a different side of the box. This is your viewing hole. It has to be positioned such that you can look through it at an angle and see the image screen. When it's time for the solar eclipse, hold the box so that it lines up with its own shadow. That shows the box is aligned with light from the sun. Stand so that when you look through the viewing hole, you can see a tiny bead of light on the image screen. That's the sun. During the eclipse, you'll see the shadow of the moon pass in front of the sun. So really, don't look at the sun during a solar eclipse. Standing under the bright sun in New York City, I'm Natalie Welchover for Life's Little Mysteries.